So today here at PASIC, we have Alex Acuna. He just now gave us a magnificent session with Luisito Quintero. And he's going to let us have a few of his minutes here at PASIC to tell us about him, when did you start playing, and how did you get to where you are today, which is amazing to have you with us. Thank you. Well, um, I started playing a long time ago. <laughs> I'm from Peru, South America, and um, I come from a family of musicians. My father was a music teacher, and all my five older brothers were studying under him, amazing musicians. So we used to have a, a band and orchestra and everything when uh, we, we grew up playing music. That's the best thing we knew how, what and how to do. And uh, so we used to have a band as a family, also some of my uncles and and some other nephews of my you know cousins and everything so we had uh, all kinds of bands and uh, that's how I grew up that's the only thing I know what to do how to do since I was three and I never done anything else in my life I became a professional musician when I was uh, 10 my first gig making money at 10 and was it uh, with percussion? Yeah, all along? Always, always percussion. Although I studied a little piano, I studied a little trumpet, mm -hmm. and uh, but mainly percussion is the one that called me. Sure. And uh, I had a big and a long career. Been living in here in United States. Well, I left my country 50 years ago, and uh, I came with the king of the mambo in 1964. Uh, Perez Prado. Okay. He saw me play, and after the first song, he offered me uh, to do a tour in the United States. And I came in 1964. And I came with a permanent residency from my country. So I've been legal all my life. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Great to know. So, Alex, tell me something. Out of all the instruments that you've played, in your long percussion career, if you had to pick one, I know it's a tough question, what, which one would that be? Wow. What's your favorite? It's impossible to pick one, you know. Although, I can t say it this way, I, I always renew myself by playing whatever I like, that I can spend time enjoying practicing. If it's going to be like a hard work and uh, too hard, I don't have the time to do that anymore. So it's the drums, really, the drum set, the drum set, because it's, it's like a, it covers a lot of different uh, timbers, sounds, you know, metals, wood, skin, high and low sounds and uh, it's, it's very versatile so the drums and you have to have a proper coordination especially with the four limbs to be able to play musical and to be able to be a very to have a, a, a freedom a good dexterity to be able to walk around the instrument musically and play musical you know and uh, it's a, and it is also it's an instrument that has a, a great dynamic you can play very soft you can play medium, you can play hard and loud. And it's, a, it's a great, and also it's for the physical abilities that you need to have to be able to play drums. You know, it's a four way coordination, you know, legs and all the four limbs, plus the mind and, and the ears and the standing. And uh, I study reading music, I can read, and uh, I'm writing books and everything. Because the drums is the one that gives me the most uh, incentive and the most music because of the coordinations, the different tones. <laughs> and if you play drums and you are born in a place that uh, raised as a percussionist, then it's, it, it gets that it becomes one. And uh, so the drums will be there. And one last question for you. Um, how many times have you been at PASIC? Wow, I forgot. Maybe 10 or 12. Wow. And yeah. what's, what's your favorite PASIC moment to share with all of us? The, the favorite uh, is uh, 
basic moment is to be able to see all the great performance and friends. I think it's an amazing uh, uh, gathering mainly for us to enjoy each other, you know. And a lot of people that, that we admire are here teaching, playing, <laughs> giving clinics and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, Luisito is a new upcoming. I offered to bring him over with me. Mm -hmm. Because I told Luisito, I said, Luisito, you know, uh, this is a different family. This is the percussionist, you know, the universities and students from all over the world, you know, that, that are like you, that they prepare themselves to become a professional percussionist. So let's do it. He said, yeah, let's do it. So he came, you know, Luis Quinteros. Right. And uh, well, I'm pretty sure he has a lot of stories to tell, Just but um, it's, it's great to be here again, you know, I'm retired from some jobs, but a real musician never retires from playing and from keep searching and discovering new sounds and enjoying music. Music is something very powerful spiritually, especially, you know, and uh, I'm pretty sure in his case, in my case, and in, 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 in many musicians and performers and drummers, especially percussionists and all kinds of musicians, uh, music is is very good because uh, it's powerful. It has the power to change us, has the power to transform us, and uh, it's a great profession to live. We travel around the world, enjoying what we, what we do better, you know, the, the best that we can do. So enjoy, and uh, I wish that uh, everybody or anybody that's going to see this. Uh, Interview. They can write to me on the, on Facebook. I answer all the questions that they want. I, I don't hide from anybody. Okay. I'm very open, very open to talk to, especially to young students mm -hmm. that would like to learn some new stuff or would like to uh, know about some question that we'll have about precaution and drums and, and, all, and all of that. Wonderful. I'm very open to all of that. Wonderful. Well, thank you. They can find me, Alessa Cunha. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for, for giving right. us your time today. And, well, safe travels into your next performance. Okay. <laughs>